their you know guy who's a rookie to this stage of this size on finals weekend and putting some extra power in his hands, especially when TSM will be able to claim it. And this is what I expect it comes the first big point of action to be, but instead TSM has have enough Top side, wouldn't have to use TP. Instead, he'd get that running start in. Teleport's coming in. It looks like they want to flank here. There goes Hotzer. Hotzer now going to run in, but Svenimithi already been caught up. Someday, we are calling him down. The option not going to hit, but Aperimu in the front forward is going to get knocked up by the Scion and taken out, and the rest of TSM will collapse on Ander. And someday, Sven dancing around the Chogath. There's the Hextech ultimatum. Burn in onto Ander. A double kill for the Scion. Sven, he lives through Someday's speed, and TSM gets three clean kills. Sven gets Gets his revenge for last game in TSM. Three kills for nothing. Infernal Drake number two. They want to push it to a game five already. A very clean fight there from TSM. Potzer with the roam down already. Someday starts his and They were going to get the pick, but ends up moved there by Hauntzer. They pulled off the back of the train and they're made out of Tari. All right, here we go. Charge number one's gonna get off. They should be able to finish it, but do they want to push for more? It doesn't look like it has been such a different story, but here we go. 100 Thieves going in. Yes, looks like they got TP back up. It's Ryu. He may have found a way into the back line. Ben, he's going to QSF. He's gonna get the press. A double polarizer. Sven somehow flushed out of the way and now Hauntzer Get a charge back in and turn it all around. Sven still fighting here because he taps Afro. And there's Bjergsen going to take down Ryu. Afro soon to fall as well. TSM counter attack so effectively. They'll take down Andra and make it three. And this game has been all TSM. Six to zero. Double Infernals. And Baron now being started up. Sunday does that teleport on Shogat though. So when Hunter Thieves could make a desperate play to have a flash in his feet. This has so far been a perfect game from TSM. No deaths, no turrets going over, no objectives. And here, that bottom lane. Oracle this... Arena, Grig is just having a field day on this Camille. Gonna take down TSM's third straight dragon. America do well there. Have never missed one in the history of TSM. They have been in every single one. I believe they're the only organization that has been in every single world. And they don't want that to die this split. And let's talk about that for a second, because TSM, it's been a whole year of firsts, and not good ones. They've never missed the finals until now. They have never played in a gauntlet until now. They have never missed Worlds until maybe now. There are so many things that have gone wrong for TSM, whose legacy has been built on winning. But this win here, potentially in this series, is the start of TSM fans finally being rallied back around the squad. Yeah, this game is going all kinds of right for TSM. Baron Buff gonna get another couple of turrets here. They are just cleaning these things off the map. CS advantage, has himself an advantage in levels and in pressure, and Ryu on the Malzahar, which we thought would be a key pick for him here, has just been shut down by just the proficiency that Zillion and Bjergsen has had on this champion. We'll make it six turrets now as TSM. A lot of to money to spend, so no reason to rush it, but those Baron-empowered cannon minions are doing a lot of work on the turret themselves. They get a huge, almost all of it actually in this single push. Eight seconds. Especially on a champion like Isa. As Sven is going to take that down. Not quite 16 if I they have that lack of vision here. There's only a few more wards. Hauntzer goes in. Oh no, the side of speed move mechanics. Doesn't quite dip around the side of the corner, but Grig might just go all in for this one. Grig's in there, ready with the ulti. There's Hauntzer, oh. get the press. And actually, Grig, excuse me, for the ulti. Sven, the Sven goes to the back line, forced to flash out of there. But it's already a kill into Ryu. Are oh, they going to get locked up as well? That'll be TSM Baron as Grig grabs the double. But that might be the game. Someday dead, base is open. That is gonna do it. TSM now can push on bottom side and force us to a game five. Once a TP from mid lane to bot lane, just to make sure they had a few precious seconds left. But it is two left now, the duo lane. Zach and Cody must defend from TSM. It's a pretty unsweet life here for them because they have to try it, find a way to kill this minion wave, and then there's one that's coming after. I don't know if they'll be able to do it. That turret is melting. Yep, Onsa ulti zones them out. Cody Sun can barely do anything but hit the tank in the front line. Nexus turret is dead. The second will fall, and TSM with the exposed Nexus will once again push it all the way to game number five. A very clean 